Let's talk about the, the decision process that you went through. How much player buy-in was there? How did you settle on the Charles Schwab challenge at Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, Texas? Yeah, it, listen, we, uh, since the moment that we stepped away from PGA Tour Golf on Friday, the Players' Championship, we have, as you can imagine, spent an inordinate amount of time thinking about our return and our resumption of play. And to answer your question, we've got a policy board that has four players, uh, Jordan Spieth, Kevin Kisner, James Hahn, Johnson Wagner, a player advisory council of 16 players led by Charlie Hoffman. And we've had over 10 conference calls, some lasting two hours, as we've thought through uh, our resumption in our, in our return. So there's been a, a lot of player feedback. Uh, our players are, are eager to return, excited to return, excited to inspire this country. Um, but also know that in, in announcing the schedule yesterday that we're going to do so in a safe and responsible way. All right, Jay, you've also been in touch, uh, I'm assuming these days, with the administration, with President Trump, about trying to get things restarted, especially when it comes to pro sports. What's been the tenor of those conversations, and, and what exactly is the overall tone for whether or not we should get back to work in America? Yeah, I think the tenor of the conversations have been... Um, you know, a recognition of the importance, the important role that sport plays in inspiring our country. And the tenor of those conversations have been really for us to come together as an industry, which we don't have an opportunity to do often, but are doing so, I think, brilliantly right now, to share some of the challenges that we're facing as we think about the resumption of play in our respective sports. So to be able to share that uh, across with, with the administration, to hear from other leaders in other sports, about how we're thinking about returning, and then to get some get access to resources uh, to help us think through these challenges is is very very helpful, uh, and it's it's inspiring to think about uh, the reemergence of the PGA Tour and recognizing that where some of these other sports are, I think you're going to see you're going to see more sports returning, and, and likely without without spectators here in the summer months. All right, so, so Jay, you are planning in, in financial parlance a V-shaped recovery, at least when it comes to majors. There's only going to be one this year, but six in the upcoming season. How does that balance strike you? Well, I think, listen, if you go back to, you know, that point in time when we stepped away, uh, one of the things I'm really proud of is that we, we pulled together, uh, we had daily conversations with the PGA of America, Augusta National, the U.S. Open, the RNA as an industry to identify what is the best possible schedule for our players and our fans. We announced 10 days ago those major championships. We announced yesterday uh, our schedule, June 8 to 14, through the FedEx Cup playoffs, through the end of the year. And I think these are uncertain times. These are times that we've never faced before. So yes, you'll have one major championship through the conclusion of the FedEx Cup playoffs in six next year. I think our fans are excited to know that we've got so many big events as we reemerge as a sport, and people expect that things are going to be different. In our sport, this just happens to be the way that it's manifested itself, but I think it was really important as a sport to come together and, 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 and present a schedule that we knew our fans would love and would help our sport reemerge, not just the PGA Tour, but our entire sport.